Hi everybody, welcome to Cooking with Abby. This is Abby, I'm her daddy, and today we're making... Latkes! That's right, we're making potato pancakes in all their oily goodness, the way they were intended to be made. That said, are you looking for a healthier alternative? Great, we got you covered. This show is part of our Hanukkah series where we take two traditional Hanukkah dishes and we make them two different ways. The oily way that they should be made and a healthier alternative because, you know, the 21st century and all that. But enough about healthy. Shall we get ready? Yeah. For today's episode, you will need two pounds of yellow flesh potatoes, which is approximately six or seven potatoes depending on their size, two large eggs, one medium onion, a quarter cup of flour, some salt and pepper for seasoning, two cups of oil for frying, and your food processor with the largest grater option. All right, so let's get started. I have peeled the potatoes in advance. You want to start putting them in? Yeah. To minimize Abby's time in the kitchen because, you know, it's a lot more fun that way. And we're going to grate these up. Ready? Oh, you're going to get that one in there? Oh, I don't think it fits. There you go. Put the cap on. Fire it up. Fill it up again. Remember, people, take out the blades of death. We don't want mashed potatoes. We want grated potatoes. The second this gets to the bottom is when you can turn it off. The small ones go in the small one. Okay. We'll finish these up and we'll be right back. So we have a couple tricks for making really nice, crisp latkes. We've got these all done. Hold on, freak, don't freak out. We're gonna take off these big chunks here. We're not gonna save these, unfortunately. Watch it, that's sharp. So the first trick we have, take your grated potato and soak it in water for a little bit. I know it might seem a little weird, but that's what we're gonna do. It does two things. One, it prevents them from going brown, and the other thing is it removes some of the starch, which will help make them nice and crispy. So while that soaks for a couple minutes, we will grate up half of our onion. Why only half? I kind of like uh, having nice chunks of onion in my latkes, but I also like using the uh, food processor because it turns it into mush and that way we make sure we get onion in every bite. Go! Perfect. I'm going to scrape the little bits off the top here and chop those up and add them to my other chops. We're going to clean that up. Before we do, we have to address a major concern. What about the traditional grater? What, what happens when you use this? You shouldn't put it here, 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 or here. Or here. Basically, you're going to get skin in your potato latkes, a little blood. So when you're cooking with kids, as far as I'm concerned, the food processor is the only way to go. If you want to risk your finger knuckles, your finger knuckles, you go ahead. There's not much of a taste difference. If there's any, we don't want to do it. We don't. We're not going to do it. All right. So we're going to clean up this mess, and then we're going to make a burrito. Sound good? Burrito. Oh! So what do you mean, make a burrito? We've taken our grated... I was going to say pineapple. I'm having a hard time with potato. We've taken our grated potato. We've strained out as much of the water as we can in the colander and the strainer here. Now we're going to dump it out onto some paper towel. Even this we shouldn't... Well, we're going to get as much out as we can, but we're not going to kill ourselves over this, right? So then we're going to cover this up a little more. And then we're going to tuck in the edges, and we're going to make ourselves a giant paper towel potato burrito. And then Abby is going to squeeze down as hard as she can, and she's going to soak up the extra water. So this is our second tip for getting... No, I don't scoop them out. I will. Crisp latkes. Ugh, you uh, uh, right. uh, uh, uh. All right. You're gonna get out. Oh no! Well, let's get it out properly then. Okay. Put this in the bowl. Oh, did I smack you in the head? <laughs> Mwah. Sorry. A small concussion. How many fingers? So, we'll get this out of our paper towel into our bowl. You're not gonna get all the potato out. That's okay, you get most of it. It's gonna be worth it though, because they're gonna be nice and crispy. So let's get the rest of our ingredients and mix this up and have some fun, okay? So one of the funnest parts I think about making latkes is I make them with my hands. You ready? Jump everything in. Whoa, slowly though. 
I just said dump everything in there. Oh, I know, but here, let's let's fan this out a little bit, though. So we get it everywhere. Onions. Hey, you didn't cry! If you watched our baking lot, because Abby was very upset at the loss of an onion. Okay, in you get. Oh, now you're crying again. I, I recognize that fake smile. I think I've seen it before. You going in or am I? I am. Go, go, go. Oh, try to keep it in the bowl, though. Okay. Now I have eggs all over my hand. I'm going to take off my ring so I don't lose it in here. You have an egg in your hand. Yeah, you got a mix, too. I know. Get this smush. <laughs> hey, let me do it. But you're too slow, man. No, I'm not. <laughs> so, we're going to wrap up the mixing here. We're going to prep our skillet with some warm oil, some hot oil, not even warm, hot. And we're going to fry ourselves up some lepkas. So we have about two cups of oil ready and heated to a medium high heat. This part is up to daddy to do. We don't want to burn our little fingers. We don't want our oil too hot because we want them time to cook all the way through. Probably get about three Could or four in. I make in. some for you? You can make the ball, yeah. Do you see how size Daddy's making them? Mm-hmm. Could I do small? You can do smaller. All right. Of course, your house ends up smelling like latka for about four or five days minimum. But that's all right. That's what the holidays are all about, right? Okay. The smell of oil. Kanuka. Eight days. Eight crazy nights. Takes about two or three minutes aside. Flip them over. Keep in mind that your oil is going to lose heat as you put in cold things. So your first ones are going to get that big flash. You're going to be freaking out and you're like, turn it down, turn it down, turn it down. But then you're going to lose heat pretty quickly. The small one's for my sister. The small one's for your sister? How nice of you. Yeah, as I say, as with the baked ones, you can make these big that or small. That one's for me. That one's for you. Make them big or small. Just make them all the same size. It's a little less important here because you can turn the, the little ones quicker. So that's a nice golden brown. That's what we're looking for. These aren't quite ready yet. That one? I love using cast iron. You know why? Because I have it. I think this one's ready to flip. Mm -hmm. Not us, but... Nice to squish them down a little bit and get them a little flatter. Can I squish flatter. it with you? Can I hold the bottom and you hold the top? You know what? I'm just... Call me crazy. But this is really hot oil. And... You've ever been born, burnt by oil? It doesn't feel good. That one's not ready. I know. I turned it prematurely. You know what the nice thing is? You can turn it back and do a little more on the other side if you need to. That one. You want to turn this one yet? Yeah. Look underneath. Not yet. All right, so these are done. We're going to pick them up, drain off as much of the oil in back into the pan as we can. Now I know these are the oily goodness. We're still going to put them on some paper towel so that we drain off the excess because, really, we don't have to be gross about it, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going to finish off the rest of these, and then we're going to eat them. What do you want to eat yours with? Um, applesauce? Applesauce. Or sour cream? Sour cream and applesauce. Both? Yeah. You crazy child. <laughs> How are those the yummy latkes? Good. Are they good? Hey, my you know we put mm. a little Very nice. poppy pin on our apron? I see that. Yeah, well, latkes. Are they good, Rebecca? I like it with the, the applesauce. Apple I don't know if it's the applesauce and the sour cream, but they taste a lot better when they're deep fried. I like the applesauce. You like applesauce? We have a contest for you. Everyone loves contests, don't they? So today we're enjoying these yummy fried latkes. We also made some healthier options, including baked latkes and baked donuts. We used a special pan that we love so much we want to give away two to you guys, the viewers. Entering piece of cake. 
Go over to facebook.com slash cookingwithabby. Tell us your favorite latka topping, donut topping, donut filling, favorite glaze, anything related to the four shows we've done so far. And on November 30th, we will pick two random winners and we will send you the pan. That's it. Simple, no? While you're there, you want to like the page? I don't know, it might be nice. All right, everybody, say bye-bye. Bye. Too much Oreo for you? Don't worry. We have a healthy alternative for you. Click the first video to make baked latkes. They're really, really good. No, really. We also make donuts two different ways, baked and fried. Don't forget our contest. Go to facebook.com slash cooking with Abby for all the details. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for cooking with Abby. We make cooking fun for the whole family.